Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is September 5th, 2019 and I just wanted to vlog today because we have a really big board meeting today. I think I've talked about this in some of my other videos but I spent the past month trying to get people organized to come to this meeting to advocate for the Measure B reallocation to dramatically improve bus service in Santa Clara County. Obviously I'm not going to know what the turnout is until I get there but there's 130 people on the Facebook event that I made for it and 350 Silicon Valley and Silicon Valley Youth Climate Action and a bunch of other environmental groups and people have been promoting this for me which is really awesome. I've been going to so many meetings, I've been handing out so many flyers and I've been asking a lot of people for help, so fingers crossed that this works out tonight. I'm obviously at home right now. I'm gonna leave to go to school in a few minutes. I'm gonna head over to the board meeting after that. So I just got done with class. I'm about to go over to the meeting, so wish me luck. So I just got home. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed, but the meeting went really well, and I'll talk a lot more about it tomorrow. So it's the next day now, and as I said briefly last night, the meeting went really well. The turnout was really good. About 20 people spoke in favor of a Measure B reallocation for bus service. Normally the same five people just speak every single time. This time there are a lot of new people, and there's a lot of diversity, and there are a lot of young people and a lot of students and just people of all ages from all parts of the county, which was really awesome. Since we were speaking on a non-agenda item, they couldn't take action on it, so the board members can ask staff to set up a workshop about it or put it on a future agenda. So right now I'm just waiting to see if that's gonna happen. So I'm not really sure when we're gonna find out if they're actually having the workshop or not. They don't release the packets for those until about a week beforehand, but if I do find out before this video is posted, I'll insert a clip about it or I'll include something in the description. But anyway, the board meeting went so incredibly well. Like This, this is something that I've been dreaming about for so long and it was just so amazing to see people standing up for themselves and standing up for better bus service because it's something that we really need here and throughout the meeting the board members acknowledged our desire to have better bus service at the very end of the meeting the proponents of the next transit sales tax gave a presentation and they acknowledged us as the bus advocates and they talked a lot about improving service for the transit dependent and making sure that people can get around without cars and historically their measures have included a lot of funding for highway extensions and not enough funding for bus service so that was really incredible and amazing to hear. I've spent a huge portion of this year advocating against highway expansions and advocating for more bus service and the fact that's finally getting acknowledged by people in power is just so amazing. Government is slow and frustrating a lot of the time. But I think it's really important to celebrate these small victories and just see subtle things change. I want better bus service right now, not only for myself, but for other members of the community too. I know that that's not going to happen and I know that I have to keep fighting and keep encouraging other people to do the same. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but the board voted on the union contract and the Santa Clara County Grand Jury Report response. And I was expecting a really long discussion about both of those items, but there wasn't any discussion at all on either of those items. So our public comments were actually the main notable thing that happened at the meeting. Meeting. The Saturday Spotlight actually uh, talked about our advocacy in their story about the meeting. The story also talked about the East Ridge Light Rail and the transit sales tax, but the article started with our public comments, which was really cool. So I'll leave a link to the article down below and I'll just read a little bit of it right now. It says, During an otherwise ordinary BTA board of directors meeting Thursday, a dozen activists rallied to urge the board to consider reallocating funds from the 2016 Measure B tax away from highway projects and towards the dwindling network of bus routes throughout the county. Speakers pointed to the county's recent declaration of a climate emergency as a call to action for VTA to improve its bus service, to get more people off the congested roads and reduce carbon emissions. We need to talk about mistakes that were made in the past, said transit advocate Andrew Boone, who is also running for San Jose City Council in District 6. Allocating 29% of a sales tax increase with Measure B was a very big mistake. Almost all of that is for cars, something we don't want. So that was really cool and exciting. Shout out to the San Jose Spotlight and Brendan for covering this. If you're involved in local politics or just politics in general, you probably understand this, but sometimes it feels like you're working so hard and you're going to so many meetings and you're doing so much advocacy and nothing's changing. And now with this, I'm finally starting to see things change a little bit, which is really awesome. And now we just have to keep this momentum going and hopefully get that workshop. I've been trying not to get too preachy in these videos, but definitely don't hesitate to make your voice heard and stand up for yourself and stand up for other people because you can have an impact and you can make a difference. If you have any questions or you want any advice about this, feel free to comment down below or message me and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.